I'm Lori Contreras. I'm the assistant principal here at Campo Verde High School, and I oversee academics, the science department, counseling, and special education. Even though I'm her admin assist, she is constantly looking to me to say, how can I help you? And she does that with a lot of people. She really understands what it takes to be a team. What we pride ourselves on is being a part of this staff. And Laura does a great job with that. My entire admin team does. And on any campus, you're only as good as the people that you work with. We all bring a different lens as to the groups that we evaluate and kind of represent and we work with. We take that feedback from them and we bring it to our discussion as we meet as an admin team. She gives her heart to Campo every single day. I've worked with her for 100 years. We opened Campo together. So we were here from the inauguration year 2009 when she was uh, the department head over counseling. And then she left for a few years and came back because they always come back. At Campo we talk all the time about CB family and Laura is definitely a part of that. The mission statement became every person every day. What's so great is to even come back and that culture is still intact, if not thriving and a bigger community and more people involved. All three of my kids after this year will have graduated from Campo, so it's a super special place. You know, my daughter who's a senior right now, she started here in Toy Box the first year the school opened. So now to see that full circle that she's actually that group of kids that's graduating this year. It's really being purposeful to make sure that you're making positive connections with kids and celebrating all of the great things that they're doing and getting into their classrooms to see the activities that they're doing because there's a ton going on and sometimes it's really easy to get caught up in putting out fires and dealing dealing with the troubles. She always treats those students with respect even if they're in a troubled situation. Students in tears come to her office and, she, and when they leave they feel much lighter. She always seems to say the right things. Even when you're going to her with like a heavy topic, there's a lightness to it because she's very, you know, solution focused. Part of what makes Campo special is people like Laura. My reason for getting into education really was motivated um, primarily by my sister and she just passed away last year um, unexpectedly and so um, she was six years older than me um, and she had developmental delays um, but that was very much part of my life. We were involved in Special Olympics and kind of always saw her education and days I remember being a, a young age um, you know, being frustrated by the fact that she could do more, but no one ever t really took the time to teach her academics. Everyone, no matter what their level, they should be challenged wherever they are to achieve a little bit more rather than being put into a box. And I think that expands beyond special education. I think we all expect that for our own children and we would want that for our own children. And so as we go forward, just always making decisions with that in mind.